for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video we will be looking at Keglan's new budget friendly bucket body fermenter. I will be running through the features of the fermenter and giving my first impressions. So let's get started. At the very top of this fermenter we have a 304 stainless steel lid and part of this package by standard is that you are supplied with this airlock and bung. To hold the lid down securely we have four clips that hold the lid down nice and firmly but it should be understood that this fermenter cannot be used with pressure neither for fermentation nor for pressure transfer. So as such the bucket bunny fermenter is intended for just regular fermentations. I think this is fine as Kegland already have a vast range of different pressure fermentation options in their product range. The bucket body has a total of three handles, one on either side of the top for lifting from the top. And you will find that the third handle is positioned further down is ideal for tipping the fermenter as part of your cleaning routine. All of the metal parts in the entire body of this fermenter are 304 high grade stainless steel which has been brushed on the outside. Whereas on the inside we have graduation markings in both litres and gallons with a smoothed weld on the seam. At the very bottom of the bucket body the design is concave allowing trub to settle on the cone. This allows for easy transfer via the included racking arm which you can also see here close to the bottom. The racking arm is adjusted from the outside and allows you to draw beer far up or far down from within the bucket body. This is especially useful for limiting flow if for example you have a beer that has a lot of trub or for squeezing out the last drops from a beer that has a low amount of trub. On the outside of the racking arm is a barb that allows you to firmly connect a simple hose line if you are transferring into a keg but you could also connect a bottling wand if you are bottling. A little further down on the bucket body you can see the controller which I will come to in a moment but between the controller and racking arm you can see this ringed area. This is actually where the heating element is located meaning that this is heating from the sides rather than from the bottom which is of course far kinder to your yeast. The 35 litre bucket body as shown here has a strong level of heating that is rated to 36 watts. This makes it plenty powerful enough at regular ambient room temperatures to be suitable for high temperature fake or saison yeast types. In my testing I was able to heat past 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit which is certainly very impressive but you could certainly go past this if you had a jacket. The controller that is built into the bucket body is certainly rather basic but it does support both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Setting temperature is very simple, you simply use the plus or minus buttons and then simply let go and it is done. So as you must have gathered by now, the Bucket Buddy is a basic yet capable stainless steel fermenter. Keckland's objective with this product was to offer a good quality stainless steel regular fermenter at a price that makes it stand out in the market. Certainly whilst this product is not as robust or feature rich as some other stainless steel fermentation vessels on the market, I believe that it will offer the average brewer a solid experience as long as they need heating rather than cooling. So as such this is ideal for use in colder areas for regular fermentation temperatures or regular household ambient temperature areas for when you want to heat to a higher temperature range for kveig or saison yeast types. I have used this bucket body for a number of fermentations now and my impression has been very positive. I especially like the amount of heating power that is offered and that the heating is sensibly placed with the yeast health in mind. Budget fermenters usually break some rules with heating placement so it's great to see that this has been done right despite the budget price tag. Check with your local homebrew store for pricing and you should find that the bucket body is available at a very competitive price for what is actually on offer here. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing. For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!